Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today, Haley and I are back in the shop and we're making these awesome birdhouses. Check it out. So we are ready to start off our birdhouse project. What's the first thing we need in order to build a project? We basically need, the first thing is the floor. I'm gonna cut all the pieces down on the table saw according to the drawing that we have. This is a drawing that we just found online and we've adapted to suit our needs. So let's get our pieces all cut down real quick. I'm gonna begin by cutting down some reclaimed cedar fence pickets. Cedar will work great for a project like this because it's naturally rot and insect resistant. Now the plans for these are nothing fancy. If you wanna build one very similar to this, a quick Google search will turn up a whole lot of plans. You can just choose the one that suits your needs. So now we have all the parts cut. Let's move on and get these things assembled. We've got some... Kite barn. Three. It's waterproof. Because we don't want our birdhouses to fall apart if it rains, right? So if you want to build them, get this glue, not regular wood glue. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> and also we are going to hold these together with some four penny galvanized box nails. We're just going to drive it together with the nails and the glue and it's going to be perfectly strong enough for our little birds. Go grab that at the store real quick and bring it back home. And grab some of this. Nails. Yes. Our pieces are about ready. This is going to be the front piece. The last thing we need to do is give our birds a way to enter their little house. We need to drill a hole in the front. We're going to use an inch and a half Forstner bit on the drill press and drill a hole right in the center for the birds to enter. Tweet, 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 <laughs> tweet. <laughs> this is not helping. Really not helping at all. So now we have all of our pieces here. We're ready to assemble them. We've got the hole drilled for our bird. We are going to build two of these, so we're going to have double the amount of pieces, but we have our two bottom pieces, two front pieces with the hole drilled, inch and a half hole, two back pieces. We have our two sections that are going to make up the roof, and we have our side sections cut at a 45 degree angle. And if you still don't have that glue and nails, get it now! Our first step is to put them together. So we're gonna work with this little vise. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for us to hold things in place. So first we'll spread a little bit of glue along there. Just a little line. Whoa, good. I don't think the birds are gonna mind if we have a little extra to you. No. Always good to have paper towels on hand because we're gonna get gluey. We're gonna need one of these things there, see. real oh. quick. I'm gonna start the first couple of these. Aw, but I wanna bang your hand. Oh, you will be able to bang my hand. <laughs> Yay! All right, you, my dear, get the honors <laughs> of banging, of banging my fingers. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Ooh. The first piece we're attaching is the front. Aha, there you go, birds. Now we're gonna attach the back. glue. Well, these birds are gonna get extra glue on their house. Nice. Ah, there we go, done. <laughs> Bird house complete. Now I'll just repeat those same steps, attaching the front and the back to the second birdhouse. Nice, that was a powerful one. Yeah, there you go. Woo, I like it. Yeah, nice, perfect. Good. No time for messing around, do we? Mm -mm. <laughs> Glue. Glue. Nice. Perfect amount. Done. Perfect. We've got the front and the back on our birdhouses. Now we're going to install the sides before moving on to the roof. To install the sides, we are going to glue three sides 
of one side. The other side, we're not going to glue at all. We're going to leave it so we can swing it open and clean it out if there's a nest or something in there. So. Apply, apply, apply. Oh, good. It's right streaming down the bottom. Apply, apply, apply. Whoa, whoa. A little extra glue. <laughs> All right, then give me a line over here on this side. Apply, apply, apply. Keeps wanting to bend. I wonder if we're hitting a knot. We seem to be having a little bit of difficulty driving these nails into the side. I don't know if it's just because it's an end grain or something like that, but I'm going to pre-drill the nail holes. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier. So this is the one that we are not going to glue. We're only going to nail at the top. <laughs> you always have trouble with things in your videos. Well, we're going to have to do a quick repair. To fix the piece that cracked, we just squeezed some glue in there and clamped it up. This crack was probably already there. I just missed it under the weathered surface of these boards. Who's in charge of the hammer? Me! Let her rip. I don't know what it is. These ones go on and go in really hard, even though they're pre-drilled. Not sure why. We got it though. Now we have a working whoop, 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 whoop. trap door. Fingers. Hi, Pac-Man. Hey there. <laughs> Good boy. So we've got everything done except the roof. We've got our door that opens up so we can clean it out. One thing we're gonna do is just put a little screw in here to use as a handle so that we can grab a hold of it and open it up. We're ready to move on to the roof. It is recording. Okay, now we're going to attach the two roof pieces and we're going to use glue and these nails here. So if you still don't have the nails and glue, go grab them right now at the store. So when I cut the two roof pieces, one piece is just a little bit shorter by the thickness of these pieces and that's going to allow them to overlap and we still have the same dimensions when we glue them on. Safety glasses on. Let's roll. I'm just going to let Ooh. glue flow down. Whee! Flow down. Perfect. Try to hold that still for a second. Or have a parent help you if you're 13 and under. Good idea. I'm sure there has to be a little bit easier way for us to do this, but hey, trying to hold it in place and nail at the same time. There you go. You finish it. Nail away, kiddo. Nail away. Nail away, nail away, nail away, nail away. Nail away. Nail away. We're gonna glue the second roof panel all the way around. The first one's only glued on two sides because we don't wanna glue the side closed that's gonna swing open. This is my first time using Tight Bond 3. It's actually runnier, it seems to me, than the Tight Bond 2. Kinda wants to get out of control real quick. Now we've got this piece that's going to overlap right here. I'm gonna use a couple pins to hold that piece in place while we can drill and nail, but don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
Hashtag beef jerky is my favorite snack. No, oh, I like that one. <laughs> Our birdhouse is almost finished. We just had one screwdriver to drive in, and then it's done. That's not a screwdriver. <laughs> I mean, nail. up nail on these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little, little bit that. of glue a more than that. we just need on this bread house. So when I'm putting this on I'm offsetting it just a little bit towards the front because the last thing we're going to do is attach a piece to the back and I, want, I don't want it to hit the roof. This is the last piece for our birdhouse. Good. I'm gonna wipe it some, these two. So now we need to attach something to the side door so that we can grab a hold of to open it up when we need to clean it out. To make the handle, we're just gonna use a nail. Hashtag pre-drill before you use a nail. Roll through this. Just gonna trim this nail off a little bit, make it a little shorter. Perfect. Well done, home built workshop. <laughs> Dada, one day I can come clean this out. Yeah, once we get some birds living in there. Now I'll just attach a piece on the back that we'll use to attach this to a post. Just some glue and screws will hold it tight. And finally, I'll drill a couple small drainage holes just to make sure no water can build up inside. I think our birdhouses are complete. Put your hand inside it. it it's does. really cozy. It feels cozy in there. I think the birds are really gonna love this. What do you think? I think it's a total I think it's a total amount of good to the birds because the birds are really gonna appreciate this. Here's the back and front if you wanted to see. They came out really cute and I really do like the shaping. If you do have have someone that lives with you and you make it all by yourself, write a note in the link. We're gonna be proud of you. If you're actually a kid and you made this by yourself, show your parents. So let's go find a place to hang it. We've got one of our birdhouses all hung up. We've got to find a good spot for the next one, but these things are awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as we did. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.